This is a hit job. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol NIO. Um, this is a company that I'm very bullish on, and I've done videos here on the channel recommending this particular stock uh, from like $5 and now all the way to hitting a high of about $54. But uh, last Friday, they had a massive, massive pullback because one of the short selling, uh, short sellers out there, Citroen Research, actually put a hit job on Neo, and now uh, people are starting to panic. So we're going to take a look at that. Look at hey, what is the next price target for the stock? And maybe if you should start looking for a strategy to secure some of the profits that everybody's been making from from Neo. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build. Wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you have been following this stock again, like I said, I've done a ton of videos here on the channel. If you've been following the stock, you see that uh, last Friday, NEO actually took a massive beating um, in the market. So in what that did to the stock is it went from a high of about $54 and pulled back all the way to like $42. Um, and the reason for that, again, like I said, uh, if you can see here in the news, uh, you know, this short selling company actually went out there, put a hit job on Neo, and, and the stock just pulled back. If you see right here, this is a company that, had, I mean, Citron actually recommended uh, Neo two years ago as a huge buy, and they had a price target of about $25. It had since exceeded that price target all the way to $54, and I think they were looking at it like, hey, it's time for us to take some profit and so they put out this hit job i personally um, i mean i wasn't a fan of when i saw this message because or this, this particular news because i knew what that meant for uh the stock i mean i didn't like seeing the stock taking a bidding like that um but i'm still bullish on neo so um this is not going to change my my view on the stock again you see every time there is that massive climb you would see some of the short sellers are going to come in and, and do a hit job so they can make some profit too because it nearly just been going up and up and up i thought it was about time they take a beating and if you remember uh i think two months ago where nicola ticket symbol nkla also took a beating because of a shut selling company, uh, Henningberg's Research, did a, a, a hit job on them too, and that's uh, Nikola took a massive bidding. So, again, you see the stocks go up and down. Shut sellers will come in with their research and do it. So, um, as of the time I'm doing this video right now, Neo is somewhere at about 44, uh, 44.6 um, from a high of uh, $54 and some change. So, again, if you didn't have the stock, I think this would be a good entry point for you to kind of go in there and, and start because um if you look at everything about neo uh they have been doing pretty good um they actually last month they actually exceeded uh five thousand uh cars per month um leaving their production line which was a new record for them and then uh their earnings report is coming out tomorrow at after hours i think so you want to go in there and take a look and see earnings reports are going to be good uh again based on the fact that uh even during covid they have been doing um really good producing five thousand cars like i said um last month and so sales are probably going to look excellent um but um again you still have to watch out so um i'm anticipating that tomorrow after their earnings report um which is going to be excellent People are probably going to jump back in and the stock is going to get back on track. Uh, it's like moving up in. So you should, again, do your own research before you jump right in. So this is, again, this is just kind of some news asking, like, after that hit job on them, all right, do you think their earnings report is going to help them? Well, we'll see uh, after hours tomorrow because nobody really knows. Because you've seen companies like Tesla, they'll come out with excellent uh earnings report then you see the stock start pulling back for no reason whatsoever so it's the market it's really really tricky for neo if you had bought neo a while back so you're sitting on some profit i want you to have a, a, a strategy here to secure some of that profit so you can start looking at hey maybe secure some of that profit by putting stop losses along the way or if you're like me where i try to take out my initial investment and only play with house money i don't hold a stack if i go in a thousand dollars and it doubles 
I take a thousand dollars out. I know some people don't agree with that strategy, but it's my strategy that protects me. And so I take a thousand dollar out and then I use that thousand dollars and invest it in something else as opposed to having all my chips in one basket. So again, it's profit. So I take a thousand dollars, I go invest it somewhere else and I'm just playing with house money. So that's my strategy. You figure out what works better for you and then you can kind of start putting together your own strategy to secure profit when something like this happen. Again, I am still bullish on Neo. This particular heat job from Citroen didn't really, uh, no, push me away from the stock. I still see the potential there because after COVID, after we get a vaccine, after the economy opens up, you're gonna see China is gonna start uh, pushing Neo as your own Tesla. That's again, that's my uh, view of it. That's the way I see it. They want competition. They don't just want everything to be dominated by the United States. So they're gonna start exploring uh, like third world countries, um, you no know, African market, you no know, South American market, Asian market. They're gonna push Neo in that space as the Tesla of China. So. That is huge. It just within China alone, with over a billion people, you anticipate that if NEO only takes 10, 15, 20% of the market share for electric vehicles, I mean, you have Lee Odo and all the other guys that are in that same space. If, you, if they only take 10 to 20%, that is still massive uh, in an economy where they have over a billion people. So, again, Citron here, and I want to highlight this for you guys so you see it. They have set the new price target of NEO down to 25. So these guys are probably gonna be doing everything to try to pull that stock back to 25. That is 50% um, off the, the price of NEO. So make sure that you have a strategy to not give back all those profits and go all the way back to 50%. Secure some of those profits so that if the price even pulls back to 25, you buy more and continue to ride it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys have a strategy. So question of the day, what do you think about this? Do you think that this is just a no-brainer, I'm not selling anything, I'm sticking with the program, or you think, man, I need to have an exit strategy so that when something like this happens, I don't lose all the gains that I have. Let me know in the comment section. If you have an exit strategy that's different from what I just said, I just explained here, definitely go ahead and share that in the comment section so people can benefit from it. And as always, guys, remember to always do your homework, do your research, don't be a greedy savage, secure profit when you have to, and stay motivated. <laughs>